What's going on, guys? Oh my Godzilla back here with some very exciting Godzilla figure related news, guys. SH Monster Arts has come out and released a few photos for their upcoming Godzilla 1991 figure. Guys, this is obviously from Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah 1991. This figure does look really great. I love the face sculpt. The body looks very awesome. Really, really a cool figure. This is going to pair very well with the new Battle Decisive version of Mecha King Ghidorah they did with the Battle Damage Wings. Looks very great. I can't wait to see these two figures side by side. Definitely makes me want to get this one and, of course, catch up and get the Battle Damaged Mecha King Ghidorah because I did miss that one. Guys, the pre-order begins April 26th in Japan, which you'll be able to access through some proxies if you use those in America. Going to come out in Japan in September 2023, USA release date of November. Going to be about 99,000 yen, which translates to roughly 75 bucks or so. Going to be 6.3 inches tall. I think this figure looks great, guys. Let me know what your thoughts on this Godzilla 1991 are. I think SH Monster Arts definitely looks pretty good on this figure. And guys, that is not the only SH Monster Arts related news we got over the weekend. We also got announced that they are doing yet another 1954 Godzilla reissue. This is great news for me, honestly, I think, because I've never purchased the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1954. So I'm definitely down for a reissue, going to snag it at a new price um, instead of having to get it on the second hand market. So definitely excited for this guy. I believe the same release dates do apply as for the 1991, that's meaning September and November for Japan and the United States, respectively. Guys, I think this figure looks great. I love the look of the 1954 Godzilla, and I definitely am excited to uh, grab another figure for this guy. So I think I will definitely be trying to snag both the 1991 and the 1954 reissue from SH Monster Arts. Guys, let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on each of these figures. Are you keeping up with SH Monster Arts, or have you let... Haya Toys kind of bury them. Uh, I think SH Monster Arts still has a fighting chance. they got to keep their prices down, got to keep the quality up, so we'll definitely see on these next two figures. But I'm going to give them a shot because they do look great. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you in the next one.